Vaseline and a trackball is all you need. <laughs> a whole truck. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. And then that clappy man is one Jordan Svang. And over there is Pedro Mateus, together with you, Shadow Realm Dynamics, sitting at home, helping us form cocaine. Voltron. Gentlemen, what's up? What's new? I'm unreasonably excited. I finally got my bar charts working. <laughs> Good. Are you finally going to enter the uh, Microsoft Excel uh, eSports scene? <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's just going to get into EVE Online. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to crush it. Man, bar charts are hard, man. Visualizing data is not... You know, you, we think about bar charts all the time, right? Because what do we do? Oh, new hardware coming out, GPUs or whatever. Like, let's see where the number digits land. But once you like start coming into like, okay, I, I need to put, put a bunch of data in here, but I don't want to do like 19 charts. That gets weird, man. Like trying to think of the proper way to convey that. So I think I got a pretty decent solution. I worked it out and uh, no longer will I, do I have a browser? Yeah, there we go. So. That's what I'm going to be doing for audio interfaces, you know, getting everything from 44 to 48 to 96 to 192, plus all the buffer sizes and check it out. Watch. Oop. I want that. Oop. It moves and shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I, I don't have to make these damn things by hands anymore. I, I can just, uh, punch you, data you know, like it. a JSON file or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm using, um, chart JS. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I can just feed that in, or I can just pull it um, right into Google Docs, but I don't want to tie it into Google Docs. So there you go. That's my limited moment of excitement this week. That, that's how kind of dull it's been. I'm like, I got the charts working, man. Unlike you, Jordan. Oh, yeah. A man I, of excitement. I, I, got, I got nothing working today or this week, man. It's, it's crunch week at work. We got like two product launches that are happening. And uh, yeah, so I'm apparently the one person who can solve problems. So that's what I've been doing. Apparently there was a next fest this week that I had no idea about until the very end of the week when I poked my head up and I'm like, what the fuck has happened? Oh, okay. I guess there are some demos now. Get next. Yeah. And of course we have Pedro Mateus. Hello. Being all zen. <laughs> he's like, man, I really wish I could bass boost my headphones. I really wish I could free bass some cocaine. <laughs> Hi YouTube. <laughs> it, 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 it's not. Uh, it's not for me. Uh, it's uh, yeah. No. It's uh, Nori's birthday is coming up, and uh, conveniently, her old um, skull candy crushers, uh, her headset that she was using, it, they broke. So I was like, you know what? Let's just get her new headsets. And uh, the apparently Skull Candy released a new version of the crushers called the Crusher Evos. Which have they still have the little uh, adjusty slider that basically you can go from very little bass to stupid amounts of bass to the point that your skull starts to vibrate. <laughs> we, we we were talking about this in the pre pre super shows and about like we need to like stick some like hyper two twelve evos on yeah. like, the side of it. <laughs> well, that was the whole so, thing, right? Yeah. Everybody's got probably got a couple of hyper two twelves laying around. Then we were like, hmm, I wonder if we could like seriously come up with a because it's a quasi believable situation to get audio <laughs> files to uh, put hyper to heat sinks, heat pipes on their headphones. Like, I think that's the angle. We, do, we just got to come up with a uh, moon dust and like, you know, audio yeah. file physics. That, I, I, I think we just got to call it Mudkip in it and just because right. you look like Mudkip. And that's the only reason you should do it. <laughs> what do they call uh, the Mudkips in um, Pal World? Um, get back to work. I don't know. <laughs> they, don't, they don't get to have names. Uh. All right. Just, just like I, the horse. I guess. I mean, you wanted to walk down that fucking path. I'm sure, like, yeah, go for it. Knock yourself I out. mean, yeah, you know what? We've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It's the steam. Yes, as uh, Jordan uh, brought up, there was, in fact, a next fest. And uh, even if you happen to miss most of it, Valve have uh, very, very nicely compiled uh, the list of most popular ones that people have been playing. Like, 
Dungeonborn and Stormgate and Homeworld 3, Pacific Drive. Pacific Drive, I, I was kind of curious, but after watching a couple of YouTubers that I whose opinions I respect very much, um, they uh, they said it's grindy as shit, so I think I'll pass. <laughs> but yeah, no, the the ones that I kind of we'll we'll get to those uh, a bit later. But yeah, it, it is it it's the next fest. If you if there's a game that you've been curious about, chances are they probably have a demo out right now if they didn't already. So go try it. Yeah, <laughs> the thing I noticed was the um. Dungeon crawlers uh, slash extraction shooters like Dungeonborn are uh, becoming very, very popular. I genuinely... You, you are going to be begging for those back, Pedro Mateus, because we're only about <laughs> six months out from all of the um, Lethal Company clones showing up. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, but Dun Dungeonborn I, I, looks cool. Like, uh, I, I didn't I didn't get a chance to play Dark and Darker during the last uh, Next Fest, but it gives me, like, similar vibe of, like, co-op. It is Dungeon the exact calling. same thing, yes. Yeah. <laughs> what is the one, uh, yet another fantasy title? Yeah, because the uh, horses have sirens on them. Yeah, I saw I saw that, too, <laughs> and so I checked out, I checked out the demo. Uh, it is it is very much just like fantasy GTA two. If you played like the 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 first two Grand Theft Auto games, mm -hmm. uh, where you can like run around and like steal horses and like just just be a general hooligan. Um, the writing is a little is a little lukewarm. It's trying a bit too hard to be funny. Oh. And you, you and you 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 know you know exactly that kind kind of writing, right? Where there's just like oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah I mean yeah. you know borderline cringe, but not quite yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. not, not quite, yeah. not quite there yet. But like the, the the whole notion of like being able to like fight shit and like steal horses seems seems all right. Uh, the the demo kind of runs like ass at UHD, but that's what what can you expect from a two D side scrolling twin stick game? <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, the the one thing I saw, um, I I, I guess uh, I guess we can talk about the 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 next story, right? Our the picks, our the, picks. our picks, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I saw, I saw one perennial order. It looks like it's like right up your alley, Pedro. And it's got like a co-op thing. It's, it's mostly boss Russia that it's, I like the souls like genre for the exploration and seeing all the things and going everywhere and fighting all the things, not necessarily for just the boss fights. I very much, uh, <laughs> I know if it's see, just see, bosses, see, but no. I, 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 I know that's a lie because you'll be like, oh, but I, I love the challenge. I love the tough but fair combat. I love so. the challenge, but I don't want to every single encounter to be a fucking test. <laughs> I appreciate that, the that, learning that, that's, in that's between. The dark souls. <laughs> every, every, every enemy can kill you. Everyone. Yeah, but not every enemy takes 70 swings of a sword to kill <laughs> Not unless you play really badly, or if you're playing blindfolded. I mean, you basically, uh, it's a Pedro game, and so you need to like get the ruler out and measure the sword size. Like, there's a you must be this long before I'm going to play you. Well, the, the 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 one thing that stood out to me about that one is it's kind of like a it ha it does have like a co-op mode, so you can do like a salt and sanctuary type thing. Oh, with, that's uh, cool. Two players, yeah, yeah. I'm down with that. A yeah. couple of things I saw. Um, starting out with like Rogue Racer. This looks kind of fun. Why well, I, I like a little arcade racing game, and I'm like, oh, you know, kind of promising. Demo ran well enough. I mean, nothing groundbreaking, but like, hey, more of this is better. Unfortunately, fatal flaw. Single player. Oh, oh. But, but why? <laughs> why would you make a single player racing game? That doesn't make any sense. These However, days. to remedy that, we have Pepper Grinder. I'm like, hmm, all right. Evolver Digital. That's always a good sign. And this is like your Metroidvania. Uh, uh, I'm getting like Ori vibes from this, especially with the drilling. With like some dig dug, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. pixel stuff going on, and it looks very well done. Um, had a good time just kind of playing around with it, and I mean, it is single player, but eh, whatever, you know, that's going to be fine. But we do have Octa Race, which is straight up. Uh, what would you call it, Pedro? This genre of uh, like uh, micro light, machines, micro machines. <laughs> that's the word. Yeah. <laughs> now this has full on multiplayer. So it's got, uh, I think, PvP and single player shared split screen. Yeah, I, I'm down with that. Down with that. We might, we might uh, play around with that. There is a demo available, and uh, that name again is Octo Race. I mean, it looks silly, right? 
Yeah. This Eight player <laughs> local it, land it on It looks that. a little janky. The the physics on those cars when they touch each other, it's a little jank. Yeah, I would have <laughs> zero interest in it if they weren't. <laughs> I, I don't look at little top-down micro-machine racing game and it's like, well, that doesn't look accurate. It, it, need, it needs more dodge rolling, obviously. Right. <laughs> Well, speaking of, uh, the first thing that kind of jumped out at me was a Souls-like, which uh, when I I saw the trailer, it's like, ooh, so it's like a hipster pixel uh, type of Souls-like called Dual Core, and it it has directional combat. If you don't know what that is, do you remember Silver, <laughs> the video game Silver? That's always the example I go for, because... That's yeah, no. And the the combat is yeah, it's directional even more so than Morrowinds ever was. And I do yeah. <laughs> so what, what do you, what do you mean by di- directional? Again, I I guess I'm a little unclear on that. Like you you face a direction then you fight. Uh no, it's the swings of the sword or whatever we- weapon you happen to be using. And say, drag the mouse in that direction to do uh, the combat. Exactly. Ah, so, 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 so it's like it's like wiggle, wiggle combat. Yes. Okay. All right. That makes sense. So that that was the thing that kind of put me off a little bit from the demo, but like it looks exactly like the kind of game that I would very much enjoy. How does that work? Have like the esports league for a game like that? Are you limited by the size of your mouse pad? <laughs> I think you have to get really good at playing with like a 3600 DPI mouse on maximum sensitivity. What, what if I get like a Wiimote and some string? What, what, no, you, 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 it, it's Vaseline and a trackball is all you need. <laughs> the whole trackball or just the ball? Yes. All right. Let's do just it. Grease but, it all uh, up. There was another one on a completely different end of the spectrum. Lonely space. It's a uh, an im sim or immersion simulator. Think like the Thief series or the new Prey. Well, new. It came out in twenty fourteen. Prey whatever. game. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck fighting smoke. <laughs> yeah, it, it's very much along those lines, and uh, I really do hope that they um, focus on the immersion more so than the simulation, because it looks really, really nice, and I kind of really want to play it. So. Lonely space. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am proud to announce the first Half-Life oh 3 God. confirmed rumor of 2024 right for oh. you. And our man Jordan Swang's got the story. Oh, yeah. So you, you might have heard about a little game called Counter-Strike 2 that came out last year to some aplomb. Uh, or applause, anyways. Uh, well, it turns out people have been decompiling shit, digging around in the code, and they found some references to uh, stuff like uh, Neon Prime, maybe some some Half Life Three nonsense, uh, Citadel. Uh, there, there's a re- there's some code references to like a Citadel lobby, uh, and what does this mean? Absolutely fucking nothing, because. Valve is really, really bad about not pruning their source code trees and shipping all sorts of weird dead branches alongside their production code. Things get repurposed, recycled, and never renamed, because who has time for that shit? Um, and yeah, and and so various components of whatever will make it into the source engine. It'll be named after the project of whatever it's working on. In this case, it'll be like Citadel or whatever, and gets reused by other projects. And lo and behold, Half-Life 3 confirms I don't, I don't know. Like, HLX, man. HLX. HL, HLX going to give it to you. And the, the article here from PC Games, and the links to all this in our show notes, tells us, like, oh, well, we know some stuff about Citadel and HLX, and we have rumors and blah, blah, blah. And this is confirmation that at some point someone at Valve was working on something with yeah. those names. That's uh-huh. basically it. Yes. Nope. Yeah. Uh, guaranteed confirmed we're getting Half-Life 3 MOBA. <laughs> it's the, it's I don't know the MOBA. <laughs> I don't know if it's a MOBA, but yeah, the way that they describe it, uh, like Neon Prime or Citadel, whatever it ends up being called, if it ever comes out, is uh, alleged to combine mechanics from Team Fortress to Counter-Strike and Dota. Thanks. I hate it. <laughs> so so, so it, it, it will be a lane ba- lane-based squad class shooter with some, like, smoke mechanics. In that's, VR. That's what, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, yeah. Wait, wait. Check it out. Like, Valve is always probably working on something if you understand like the flat company structure of valve somebody's always dicking around with something 
that's obvious. Like they're clearly working if it's Citadel or whatever it ends up never coming out. It's the problem though. Like no matter what they're working on, there, there's no incentive. There's no drive. And we, you know, we've heard from employees at Valve. They're like trying to get a project out the door is nigh impossible at that place. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> well, is it it's, called it's, Steam? It's, Does it make billions well, it's, it's, and it, billions of dollars <laughs> it's it's the it's the it's the same problem that google has where like you get credit for starting projects but you don't really get credit for finishing them mm. right so the, the the incentive is to constantly make new shit uh because that that affects that affects your stack ranking and that affects like your chances of getting a bonus they yeah. they gamified the system and now all the game developers are trying to points max to max out their salaries. <laughs> who who'd have thunk? I mean, how many game developers do you think Valve work at Valve? Like nobody that wants to make games, I assume. <laughs> People who like to make games but never release them because it's not perfect enough. Maybe. But I, like, I mean, I've I, I, I've I, seriously I, thought about that because you know they bought the uh bought. Yeah, I mean they did the uh, development team behind uh, what was it Firewatch? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and mm-hmm. and, and they. they yeah, and, and and they and they didn't they, didn't they leave afterwards yeah, too? Yeah, they they, they, mm-hmm. they like making video games. <laughs> yeah, and and like, but there's there's the flip side of it too, where it's like it may very well be that a lot of these projects get to a point where people are just like, this isn't fun. We're we're working on this, and like the game that we're actually making isn't fun. And instead of like trying to fix it, maybe maybe it's worth starting from scratch. I don't know. There 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 is some there is something to be said for that. Um, yeah, I mean there's plenty of people that are like doing maintenance on existing titles. Like, yep. But like UIP, what was the last new uh, artifact, right? And that didn't work out very well. Yeah. I mean I mean they they tried to go right after Hearthstone back when like <laughs> yes. Hearthstone was like at its I think would would you say it was at its peak? Because like it's still pretty big now, but like I don't think it. No, I, no. At that time, it was because you, uh, like it, it was a, like getting into my sphere of like giving zero fucks about card games. Like mm. it was starting to encroach on that. Like I knew some of the basic mechanics because I had friends that were like, "Yeah, you got to play this mobile app. It's like crack cocaine." I'm like, ah. Yeah, so so yeah, trying trying to trying to go after the king right on its head. Eh? It's like it's like uh, all these guys that were making like PUBG clones mm. right when mm-hmm. like PUBG was like right right at the top. Like you you can't you can't win from that. You're not, you're not gonna unless I mean, your name I mean, is Epic and you're released Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, yeah laughs, <laughs>, laughs in Fortnite. You know, in fairness, I think Fortnite was, uh, but it wasn't Fortnite what you would consider Fortnite today. Like when Fortnite no, it, started it, out, it was not Fortnite. Yeah, no, the, the original yeah, for- Fortnite was a completely different thing than what Fortnite Battle Royale, it was which is basically a cooking cool. simulator. <laughs> yeah, it, it, for, it was for, a base for, builder Fortnite is like the reverse. Um, right now, it's defense. like that fucking giant bubblegum monster from the end of Akira, right? Like it's the everything it's, game. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, it's the everything there. app. Oh, strange times. Let's move on to some news. Uh, Cheese graters or headphones. Yes, yeah. could be headphones. <laughs> what are we talking about? Uh, we got a new video card that no one is terribly excited about, but people kind of want to sort of maybe just get a little excited about. We're talking about NVIDIA's new GeForce RTX 3050. Six gigajoules on this little guy. Double width. But you don't need to put in extra power. That's now the that- advantage. That, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of neat it's even got a dvi port on the back talk about knowing the audience and <laughs> it's completely fanless so it's got a big chunky heat sink on it's got two heat pipes on it because that's how you know it, it'd be kind of pointless just to put heat pipes on it without the fins and like i'm not against this what's this thing gonna run us guys uh 169, 169. white stinky caches that's not too bad because we're all going to do the knee-jerk reaction and look at it through the lens of gaming. I know, because, hey, Linux Gamecast. But I'm fully aware of other applications for, you know, a card that can do, drive a couple of 2160p, you know, consumer 4K displays, and just completely be in Stufu mode, which is brilliant. Mm-hmm. At $169, uh, this is a good excuse to buy the, well, you see, that do they make a fanless version of, what was the uh, little uh, nerfed AMD card? Oh, the really, laptop GPU that they slapped yeah, that the PCB one. on? The 6400, yeah. yes. Yeah, I think that one's a little bit cheaper. It's like 140, 120, somewhere in there, but it's got a fan on it. This thing's silent. There's no moving parts to break, and you don't need an external power connector. $169, if you're looking at it as a gaming card, it's bleh. But if you're looking at it like if you're building a digital audio workstation, or you need a, you know, HTPC. a, a computer yeah. that can easily mm-hmm. sneak up on people. <laughs> <laughs> uh if, 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 if you just have like a block of mozzarella and you really need to make a pizza or something you could use it to like 
dry right. just yep. push it on it's like they're done <laughs> I I, I, do, I do like the name of like calm because it reminds like K A L M because it reminds me of like the panic meme like calm panic <laughs> from the <laughs> stock, the, the stock right. sky pink pink yeah, yeah rather than the fanless version I'd rather have the low profile and sub two slot thickness uh just have it yeah the, so what you the, want the, is an A two thousand with a water block. <laughs> <laughs> yes, without the um quadro price tag on it as well. Uh the yeah, no, like I like in Nvidia to this day has been the one to release the most powerful completely PCIe powered um graphics cards. It used to be the 1650 before this and now it's the 3050 6 gigabyte, mm-hmm. you know. Progress Took them a while, but I mean, these things are going to be the cards that are going to get dumped in, you know, your lower end Dells that can engage, right? And like, that's where we're going to see them. But that brings up the discussion question. How far are we away? Uh, Because I was watching uh, a couple of YouTubers that were doing reviews on AMD's latest APU, right? The uh, whatever, you know, the latest version. What is it, Pedro? Uh, The the 8600GX or whatever. Yeah, that one. Yeah. (laughs) And they're getting there. They're getting there. Like, just looking at, you know, it's like 1080p is like within reach here if you're willing to dial things down to low. How far out are we for just a uh, integrated solution? Are we like one generation, maybe one and a half generations away from where we're just not going to need these basic bitch GPUs anymore that have always just kind of hung out in the directs because they were the cards that you bought to do your transcoding with, your Jellyfin or your Plex server, or it's the best you could scrounge up because you needed $120 gpu just to play or you games. had an old pc like a dell right. multiplex that you got for pretty cheap and you just stuck that in there mm-hmm. it, honestly the like the eight the 8700g and the i can't remember what the five one is uh the, the, those, there was the six and the five because they the, the, the six the and the five because like yes. the, the one had the ai cores and the other one doesn't yep uh, the like the newer ones they have the integrated GPU is the Radeon 70, 780M which is if you pair it with high enough uh, or fast enough DDR5 RAM they perform very very well I think yeah probably one generation two at most is when we'll see it's like okay you just want to do 1080p gaming just buy that one apu like when we get to like am6 right i i I think i think there's still going to be that use case that ben's describing for a while where you are going to have that like older computer that you're going to need a card like this just as like well you want that option like Like, you don't want it to completely go away right yeah yeah for sure uh but but yeah i I think i think like as igpu solutions get a lot better and we're seeing like Intel, Intel has dedicated GPU hardware now that they're going to start, that they've already started making like arc, uh, like laptops and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I think, I think like even beyond that, maybe like motherboard integrated GPUs might be a thing coming down the pipe as you well. Know, it especially. will be interesting, you know, especially with, um, Intel, you know, with the battle mage and moving on mm-hmm. into, because for good or for ill, AMD has had no competition in the APU space. Like their, their APUs decimate. Mm-hmm. Well, Intel it, iGPUs. Like, it, it, Intel, Intel tried. They had the the Intel CPU with the AMD GPU on board, right? Like there, that existed for like five that, minutes. That, that existed the, in the single Skull Canyon. Uh, yes. Right. Like, <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, yes. Uh, you're like, is this genuinely just like taped on? Like, shut up. Uh. It's, it's like it's like it's like finding one of those like Nintendo PlayStations. Yeah. Right? You're talk like, what about the like fuck the is rare, this? rare chips that you could pull out of your collection. That I would be like, ooh, you got one of those, neat. But. It would be interesting to see if you know if Intel can come up to like answers to push AMD even mm-hmm. further than where they're at right now because AMD is like, yeah, this is good enough. What, what are you going to do? Buy a Intel CPU, well, try to play some and, video and, games on it. And like we, we were kind of hoping for AMD to do this as well, like from from the Nvidia side, because like, well, the, and they they did that to Intel for the CPU end because you know Ryzen Ryzen has been kind of kicking Intel's ass for for a good couple of generations now mm-hmm. and uh, and now we're we're seeing like with the with the 76 uh, 6000 series and 7000 series GPUs like AMD can like swing with the big boys now they're not they're not going to like they they don't necessarily hit the peak numbers of like the their cor- their uh, corresponding uh, Nvidia cards but they're they're definitely within the conversation oh they're so, completely in the conversation yeah. especially when like you start looking at pricing yeah yes. exactly yeah you have uh, the 
4080 Super that just came out uh, that was supposed the MSRP was supposed to be a thousand dollars, and in most places it costs fourteen hundred. Yeah. And at the same time, you have Listen, the seventy nine hundred XTX. To train on me, so yeah. <laughs> you have the seventy nine hundred XTX, which uh, AMD has cut the price down to about seven hundred dollars, which is infinitely better, like value for performance that you're getting. It's I mean, I mean, more power, but hey, <laughs> th- th- that was the call I made with the with the 7800, right? Like I can yeah. I can look at getting like a 4070, but it's just like a worse card for more money. Yeah. Like, why, why would I? So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I want to. I mean, it, it's going to get there. It's going to get there. Like from I, easily, probably in the next three to five years, you're going to be able to buy a, re, you know, 200, 300 dollar uh, CPU with a GPU on it good enough for your basic 1080p. Mm-hmm. Game oh, yeah. I mean, the Valve already proved that you can have an x86 computer. 1080p 60 that, gaming. Yeah, that can do 720p uh, gaming 40. for uh, 350 bucks. Yeah. But what? But what? What about some competition like the the Aya Neo that runs? Well, it doesn't run Hollow ISO anymore, or maybe maybe this thing. Oh, an Orange Pine. Yeah, man, I've been waiting for an ARM based. Uh, <laughs> Hell right. No, yeah, no, that'll this be, one's be really cool. Too. But <laughs> yes, Great. as it turns out, the Orange Pie Neo. Yes, that's the name that they chose to go with. Is Not- a Linux handheld gaming PC with Ryzen 7 7840U, like all of the others. Whatever, if you uh, that's funny. Me. I didn't know it was already April. God damn it. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, it came out on February 2nd, uh, sorry, February 4th, 2024, from Lily Pudding. Uh, the article, very much, I think everyone got caught by surprise. It's like, wait a second, Orange Pie? The Pie competitor people? They're releasing a. Steam Deck, well, it's not a Steam Deck, like, it's a ROG Ally, like, or a MSI Claw, like, or whatever the... Oh my uh, fucking, it's a handheld gaming device. <laughs> yeah, th- yes. th- those, are, those are some, like, low-hanging squareolas. That, th- those don't look, like, super comfortable to use, honestly. No, that's called no, Valve Don't Sue It doesn't us. have enough room, it seems a little mm-hmm. tight, and the thing that this article doesn't mention is, what's the price gonna be like? Um, because know. yes, we've seen the others, we've seen how much the claw goes for, how much the ROG ally goes for, so on and so forth. So is this going to be between 700 and a thousand dollars as well? Because that's going to kill it right out of the gate. We're looking well, at yeah. it, man. We got seven inches, 1920 by 12, 120 Hertz on the display yeah. though. So that's kind that, that, of wild, pricey. man. Uh, 780M, 16 gigajoules or 32 gigajoule option, low power DDR 7,500. Mm-hmm. That's good. 512 2 terabyte NVMe options, uh, four USB four holes, uh, 3.5 dual touchpads, as we've commented on, 51. They, they got battery. some nice uh, joysticks and uh, triggers as well. They're Tur- all uh, Hall of Fans. Turbo Fan Jordan. Tur- yeah, I'm your turbo <laughs> lover. Turbo <laughs> Fan. Dual copper heat pipes. Oh my God. I, I thought I was only going to get a single one, but now this there's two. This thing's made out of magnesium alloy, plastic, glass, and love. Indeed. Uh, and it's also running uh, an immutable version of Manjaro, which I guess makes sense as well. Y'all might remember Valve was recommending it as SteamOS at home if you need to do your validations right. on a Steam machine. So uh, them using an, um, an immutable version of that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, us- using the immutable version gets you like realistically as close as you get to uh, to SteamOS without having to resort to something like Hollow ISO. Uh, yeah. That, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know. If I were making a product... I don't. I don't know. It would be kind of a, to- a toss up between like if I had to choose between Hollow ISO and and Manjaro. Like that. That's some trolley problem shit. Like, <laughs> how do I kill both at the same time? Is there a way to like <laughs> loop loop the trolley back around so that I Pedro. can get one and then the other? Or all right, Pedro. What if this is released for three forty nine? You buying one? Yes. Okay. If if this is within Steam Deck price range, absolutely. I will put the money aside and I will get one. <laughs> what kind of dark sorcery, what kind of Faustian bargains would they need to do to get it to that price point, though, right? Yeah, <laughs> because I, I'm i pretty sure Valve is losing money on the uh, 399 256 egg SSD version. Not really, of, because you're buying stuff for the store. <laughs> yeah, th- that's yeah. what they're doing. They're subsidizing the, that loss with the games that you then buy on Steam. Orange Pie doesn't have that. Asus but doesn't have that. Pedro, they could Lenovo strike, doesn't have they that. They could strike a deal with uh, Desura. 
<laughs> well, no. that, that's, that's only if they're running Android, right? <laughs> yeah, that seems to be uh, Desura.com's current market is uh, mobile game. <laughs> yeah, this one's probably going to be, you know, that, that again, you, okay, where are we going to get like lawsuits against Valve for like unfair competition? <laughs> That's the thing. It, well, it's, well, they'd, ha- they'd have to go after like every console manufacturer, right, though. Yeah. Like, like I'm sure Valve's already got that like case like planned yeah. out. They're like, yeah, try Mi- it. Microsoft and Sony, like, dude, look at what Microsoft is doing with Game Pass, man. That is a huge loss leader thing. Yeah, right? like, Microsoft buying up entire studios and making games Xbox exclusive. But okay, let's talk about that real quick because I want your opinions on uh, the whole Xbox thing because I've kind of followed it. What did Xbox threaten to do? Or is Microsoft getting out of the hardware console business? Or what's going on? I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I didn't hear anything about that. <laughs> I heard that they fired like 1,900, uh, 1900? Yeah, 1,900 people from um, Activision. Activ- yep. <laughs> Uh, promises employees they won't okay apparently phil spencer had to come out and say hey guys we're not doing that by the way <laughs> <sighs> they won't stop making xbox consoles all right that, that was something that was like in the rumor thing man They're like hey we're gonna microsoft's gonna go to uh just making uh video Part games only no just oh. video games dude like oh. we're just gonna be a publisher because we bought all these game companies to make video games I, I honestly, I think that would probably make their lives a lot easier from a regulatory standpoint than like having to like run their own console as well, because then there's always going to be that massive conflict of interest. I guess that's not a problem, though, because they can just promise the UK government that act, that Call mm-hmm. of Duty is going to be on PlayStation for 10 years. Yeah, we'll let Call of Duty be on PlayStation. If that's a big hang up, then fuck you. Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> well, apparently yeah. that is like the big announcement, like that they're going to have at like starting Monday or whatever. Whenever this thing is, I haven't read into it very good. Mm-hmm. But they're going to be announcing that first party titles from Xbox are going to be coming to PlayStation, mm-hmm. like uh, Starfield and Halo, shit like that. Starfield. <laughs> what, 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 one day what, someone, what else do they got, Pedro not Mateus, Mateus, like, will make Starfield good. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, uh, there, there was a meme going around a couple of, uh, a couple of days ago about... Uh, like you have Goku, uh, like the Goku versus Vegeta, the first fight that they have, and Goku goes, "Let's fight somewhere empty," and then it's overlaid over a picture of the PlayStation only, PlayStation Five only games, and there's yeah, well, like ten of them. Yeah, I, well, and and that's that's the thing. Like, I, there's like only fifteen or something like exclusive PlayStation Five games that like you need to get a uh, PlayStation to like play play the game. Period. But so like, everybody's forgetting about us on this show. We're PC players, and Sony's like, wait a minute, those motherfuckers got money too. Uh, yes. <laughs> shit. Uh, let, let's start putting that out. And Microsoft PlayStation has been, Portal. This entire time, Microsoft has been like, yeah, we, we're Microsoft. We, we invented PC gaming. LOL, JK. Uh, Although for- Microsoft, uh, the, every now and then they remember, oh yeah, we have this Windows store. Let's, let's shove a couple of games that people might want I, on there. Like, that, that article um, last week war. remembered <laughs> that there was a, <laughs> there was a question store. mark. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. I've never understood just reading what I read this week about the whole, because that, that got all the people to come out of the woodworks with the uh, Xbox is still great. You don't know what you're talking about. You're a big dumb fool. Why? Because I bought the Xbox and couldn't afford to also buy a PlayStation 5, so I got to pick my battles here like we used to do in grade school. But in my yeah, day, the console war, dude, it was yeah. Mega Drive and SNES. Like that was right. the holy war back in the day for me. And as and a kid. and and now we live in the fucking crazy future where like basically Sonic games are like Nintendo exclusives. That is so weird, dude. <laughs> right? Like, th- th- doesn't that just fuck you up just a little bit as a '90s kid? And and you have uh, the company behind the biggest video game store on PC releasing a console that plays switch games better than the actual switch i mean to be <laughs> fair you could say that about any computer released in like the past couple years mm-hmm. that it plays switch I'm just games saying, better you know the as switch. you know that the gaming machine well. r- released by valve that plays switch games better than the switch well, i think and at this point my dishwasher plays switch games better than the switch probably <laughs> like uh, don't worry switch 2 is right coming out this year man probably <laughs> we're, we're adding a third core to, to it 
bring those new arm cores. Here's a good question for you, Jordan. Um, are are you going to pay four hundred for a switch? I don't. I don't think so. I think. Really? I think the Steam yeah, Deck's I, like good enough. Huh? It, it <laughs> is. On, on, honestly, um, and like. <sighs> At this point, I, I can't bring myself to pay $100 for a fucking Nintendo game. It's $100 with tax for a first party game. They're like, yeah, $89.99 mm-hmm. with tax. It's like 90 whatever. You're, it's basically $100. Um, I can't do it. I can't do it, especially when on Steam, it's like, oh, there's a sale every other week. I can just buy like four games for the price of mm-hmm. one Nintendo game. Right. Yeah. Oh, you think you're... You- and, and and I and I don't even pay for Game Pass. If that was the case, I'd be like extra fucked. I'd be well, like, that, oh, that drone swing is what I'm curious about because you're the person I know that had the Switch and now has a Steam Deck, and yeah, you're sitting and, there going, hmm. And, the, and that Switch you? is collecting dust. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> even the child doesn't want to play the Switch. The child <laughs> has a fucking PC with a 1080 Ti in it. He doesn't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> the child. <laughs> Yeah, his PC plays Switch games better than the you Switch. Should get this him is a, what I'm dude, talking about. You, you're, you're horrible. You need to get him a copy of Cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> no, he's, 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 he's into Paradox Interactive games, man. Like, that was good. That's good. Yeah, strategy, he, he, all right. Yeah, he, he's, he's down that rabbit hole, man. You, yeah, what, you, 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 know those, you know those people. You can't you, pull them out of I that mean, shit. I yeah. mean, you know, it, it, trust me, it's a net positive to get into that. Hey, those games are always fucking expensive anyway, but you don't have to worry about what GPU I feel like. Do you yeah. do have a display? Good, and let's roll. I don't, I don't, I don't got to worry about sex, drugs, or rock and roll. All I got to worry about is Crusader Kings. <laughs> what do we have up next? You're making me talk about fucking GitLab in, yeah. my, in, my, in my off time. You, you <laughs> bastards. I fucking hate you. All right. So Collabora, you heard of them. They provide a lot of useful development for open source and a lot of funding as well by being a main funding source for um, all the various donors. Uh, that contribute to open source. And they have decided that um, based on uh, some of Linus's, uh, let's call them comments, uh, maybe some more thorough testing infrastructure is required for the Linux graphics stack, especially for DRM, direct man- render management, not the, uh, not the uh, digital rights management. But um, yeah, so uh, as such, Collabora is making a collection of publicly available machines with uh, various GPUs. That will run. Uh, that will run uh, automated test suites against your driver changes. Uh, they explain how you can do that. You just got to sign up uh, on their GitLab, get put on the uh, appropriate group, make sure that your GitLab CI file has all the shit for the distributed testing, and then lo and behold, uh, across a bunch of various machines uh, bun- uh, that can run your driver, it will it'll do your it'll run your tests to make sure that you don't introduce any regressions with your patches, which is really really nice, um, especially because. The, the, the big concern is as you're working on drivers, you as a developer don't necessarily have access to all of the hardware that you want to test against. So having a nice centralized bank where you can where you can have that uh, is going to be useful. I mean, I can't based go down on, to the Linux store. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ba- based on the screenshots, though, they don't they have a bunch of ARM GPUs. They don't have like super uh, a ton of like AMD or uh, Intel or NVIDIA GPUs, but that will improve with time and funding. Uh, and hopefully no one attempts to like mine Bitcoin on them in the, in the interim. like. Yeah, dude, I'm just happy to see a cross driver CI solution that's not mailing list based, man. Like that, where this, you don't mail someone. Does anyone have one of these guys? This, Can you build this? This, this is a fucking quantum leap. All right. Yes. So, uh, yeah, Collabor is just one of those companies. I'm like, kind of like Cloudflare. I'm like, you need to do something evil so I can like balance you out, right? <laughs> like, there, there's got to be a negative. You, you got to have flaws somewhere, or maybe not. Uh, apparently yeah. there were many flaws jordan brought up the uh, linus comments <laughs> and uh yeah no he he had a he has a point because someone submitted a header file that referenced the c file as a requirement it's like it's the other way around you don't do that Just don't <laughs> Well, and, and this, and this, so, this, this yeah, is why you want to have in, GitLab, right? Where yeah, it run, having yeah, it a run. proper way to test it in GitLab or somewhere other that's visible. In, in this case, it's GitLab. That's very good. That's very good. <laughs> Happy to see it. Good work mm-hmm. being done over there. Uh, Devolution X is uh, that one. Didn't we play that? 
We did. Uh, we we tried a little bit of that out uh, back when one five one was the main release, but now one five two. It works. It? Pro- it was really easy to get set up. And of course, we're yeah. talking about playing, you know, Diablo one <laughs> multiplayer online on Linux native, and uh, it okay. It got so much better. Forty five minutes into the stream, what, what, once we discovered the when zoom Jordan key? discovered yeah. the zoom, and we could all see what was on the screen, we're like, wow, this is. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow, we actually stand a chance now that we can tell what the fuck is happening, right? Right. Yeah. Oh, Version man. 152 just got released. Uh, they have some multiplayer fixes, conveniently enough. Uh, but the the thing that jumped out to me, and they changed the uh, the wording. <laughs> they changed the wording on the stability performance system bit uh, because it specifically said Fedora. Uh, it specifically uh, listed Fedora as it didn't build on fedora because of the bzip2 version that fedora ships is was not compatible with the one that is um that Dev- devolution x uh, requires so they now statically link bzip2 and libsodium on x86 64 for everyone to work around those issues i am one of those idiots that likes to run haiku and uh Having had very good experiences with Devolution X, building it and running it on Haiku, I figured, you know what, Let, let's try the new version, see if I can get like controller support and I can actually play around with the controllers on Haiku. Doesn't build. <laughs> this, I, I got- this has been a known issue since August 2022. It doesn't build on Haiku. I gotta, you I gotta get say to though, be I- that guy. Uh- mm-hmm. Contro- yeah. Controller for Diablo One is just too fucking weird, man. Oh, I mean, we both <laughs> yeah. tried for a minute. Yeah, like, it, it, <laughs> no, I, 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 I attempted, and it's, it's no, 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 no. Back, back to mouse, please. Um, yeah, but uh, the the uh, multiplayer fix is nice. There was uh, apparently some invalid user data uh, being or being flagged as a reason you couldn't connect. So now, uh, now you can. Um, it was, yeah, it's 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 uh, fully peer to peer as well, which is which is very nice because no one's working around with Battle.net. Yeah, yeah. The it 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 does it does desync sometimes because it is peer to peer and like we I, I I noticed that at least like sometimes you would like disappear and then like reappear a couple yeah, seconds it's, later. It's Diablo. Yeah, it's, yeah, <laughs> like, it's, all, it's also Diablo. It doesn't right? break like, your game at all. You're like, oh, you're back. Yeah, right, cool. I mean, I mean, like back back in the dial up days, that's just that's just how shit right. worked, right? Like, so. I mean, yes, yes. I mean, if you got like an 80 person battle royale going on in your game, that might be a problem, but yeah. Yeah. Good news, everybody. Disney, everybody's favorite company, has decided to join forces with everybody's favorite gaming publisher, Fortnite creator Epic Games, (laughs) to the tune of $1.5 billion. That's right. Mm, look, what is this? Is that Fortnite? Is that what Fortnite looks like? I think I think this is Fortnite. Yes, I Dis- couldn't tell you. Or, 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 or Disneyfy Fortnite, or yeah, I, I think this is a con- this is a concept art art of like a Disney World Fortnite thing. Disney X like, Epic Games. Yeah, it's probably in this it's video. D D E Small World. I'm that's, scared that's to watch the video it. on our stream just because it's got <laughs> Disney attached to it. So I'm not. But so what no. do we get out of this deal, man? Disney's going to get more IP in front of more 13 to 25 year olds. Check. Tencent currently owns about 40 percent of Epic, and Sony's got another five percent. So I. My guess is the reason we're seeing this is because uh, if you've been keeping track of like Mandalorian and stuff like that, a lot of those shows are taking advantage of the real Unreal Engine for their dynamic uh, screens of green in the background, like the video walls that they have set up, mm-hmm. which is pretty dope. I wonder, my, my little like theory outside of just like getting some new eyeballs and getting all the IP into that and making money with it that way, but a little bit of a preemptive strike with Disney after watching what Unity did, and they're like, Okay, if, if these morons pull a unity, like that's really going to mess up our um, yeah. workflow and business model here with the way we're using Unity to not yeah. Unity, but Unre- Unreal Engine in uh, show production and movie production. Oh yeah, I, I, th- I think I think that's definitely like a big part of it. But there's like other reasons as well. Like we we we've known historically that like Disney has attempted to run game publishing studios and was not very successful at that. Oh, so no, never. Yeah. So at so uh, ha- far- farming that shit out to Epic to to a company that like historically has done that better makes a lot of sense for Disney as well. Especially given given the reach they have, it's kind it kind of seems like a no brainer, honestly, from from uh, Disney's perspective. I, yeah, and you know, <laughs> of all things considered, Ubisoft would have been a much worse choice, <laughs> or EA for that matter. 
but uh yeah no it, it it if you're after the kids then yeah they're all playing fortnite and epic um they've tried and team swinney has been very 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 vocal about making fortnite not just the game fortnite but the multiverse that you create your fortnite character and you have not just that particular game mode but you have everything else and they've done like live concerts and they did that star wars preview thing which was very much the red herring that this was going to happen (laughs) so yeah it is very much if you've been paying attention to the fortnite things this probably not a big surprise but the value 1.5 billion yeah, I, after posting the losses that they did, Epic's probably very welcoming of the uh, 1.5 billion Westing. You guys are missing the, like, <laughs> let, let me tell you this, man. We're finally going to get the Unreal Tournament show. I, I, Disney I watch, Plus. I, I, I will watch Mickey and UT with, with the Redeemer. <laughs> we, 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 get, we get the Redeemer on TV. That's it. Well, and so the, the, the other, the other thing too, is like Epic, uh, like Fortnite is a closed ecosystem and like with, with Disney starting to lose a lot of their assets to the public domain coming up in the next couple, like a uh, dec- decade, decade and so on. Yeah. Well, I mean, M- Mickey Mouse just left, uh, in another 10 years, we're going to get the stuff from the thirties and forties. Right. So, um, so like ha- having, having a version of this that exists in a walled garden that is more recent and has like more recent copyright attached to it mm-hmm. is another thing that Disney can do to parlay and like extend their, the, their grasp on like certain intellectual properties. All I'm for, hearing for, is for, a like, Tron VR extent. game. Yeah, absolutely. Tr- Tron and Fortnite. Tron is the new Fortnite. I, I mean, again, Fortnite's just going to be the multiverse and then you're going to have all the different games and all the different things that oh, you can do in it. Sh- shit here I, you know you know epic you can have this one for free light cycles fucking tron light cycles in fortnite you're welcome i uh what was it i saw someone was playing silent dance, can dance you imagine revolution that in vr but it like hits you like the the actual game does but you gotta yeah. wear, like woof. The, they have like full-on dance dance revolution or guitar hero type of situations in fortnite if you're not playing the game mode you go onto the social bit and play the other games that are available. So yeah. they're already doing that. It's Ready Player One, man. It's the prototype. <laughs> yeah. uh, you're just kind of sticking that together. Speaking of shit you put on your face, man, have you guys uh, paid any attention to the uh, Apple Vision Pro? Is it the Vision Pro? Is that what it's called? The, yes. Yeah, the, the Vision Pro. I have, I have not. The uh, augmented. The, the, the $3,500 one. Yeah, no. Reality. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm fast. I, I don't know anybody with one. I got some Apple fan humans in my life, and they were like, nah. Um, See, having tried the Microsoft um, HoloLens, the HoloLens 2 specifically, and realizing just how limited and gimped that thing is, and we're talking about a Microsoft product. (laughs) uh, No, I don't. That, no. The Apple's one is not going to be any better, in my opinion. (laughs) Yeah, what, I mean, what, what I, I, I rode a tricycle once that really put me off motorcycles. Um, <laughs> that's or, oh, that's oh, the oh. thing. If we're talking about uh, the augmented reality, yeah, it's not going to be great. I've <laughs> when, seen when, demos when, when of the, the augmented pie? reality, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, have you seen it, Pedro? Is what I'm asking because it doesn't sound like you've watched any footage. I, I, of I how saw it works. the initial uh, when they first announced it. Okay, so no, um, yeah. <laughs> the augmented reality shit looks dope as fuck and that's the only thing i'm interested in i'm not um interested in playing games or anything like that or having a vr experience but that ar shit looks pretty fucking dope go watch i just want a scouter i just want a scouter you always want a scouter because i need to know what people's power levels are ever since you turned 11 why because because you know i I, I was was, was under nine thousand. is some other fucking called radix gonna drop out of the damn sky i don't know about (laughs) <laughs> yeah, Rat, Rat, Radek, uh, uh, a Czechoslovakian man. He's just going to show up and be like, hey, you got, you got to read my power level. I won't know what to do. Be like, I can't, I can't read Dr. Zelenka. I can't. Fucking Red Ribbon Army, man. Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the reading Ribbon Army. <laughs> the reading yeah, Rainbow Army, dude. Fucking Jordy LaForge is going to fuck you up. Oh, yeah, no, that, that, yeah. Data versus Goku? Come on, let's do it. 
Don't give them ideas. They're going to end up in the Mortal Kombat game now. No, no this is going to end up in Fortnite. It's just going to end up in Fortnite, man. Come on. <laughs> you know this. Have either of us um, ever played Fortnite? I have not played Fortnite. Like, I've... I, I, they had, like, the web thing. Remember when you can, like, try to stream Fortnite from the browser and I tried to get it to log in and it never would work? And I'm like, I mm. don't care. Hey. If you play Fortnite and it's like one of your gems, maybe it's just like one of those weird things, dude. You're like, yeah, I run Linux, but I also got a Fortnite machine that I always play. Let us know about it because I'm kind of curious. You can do that. Head over to LinuxGameCast.com, smash that contact button, get a little thing there, fill it out, leave a YouTube comment, leave a comment on the Patreon post, anywhere we might be, except social media because like that stuff is just like it just flies by too quick. And uh, we might read it on this very show. Last week, Pedro, criminal mastermind, money lunder, and Mateus. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Slippery Mateus, as they call him in the old who, country. Who, who's, who's, who's the guy from Ozark that, uh, that uh, what's his name, plays the, the, the main character? Jordan's watched Ozark. I've, I've watched like five episodes of Ozark. <laughs> You're kicking our ass, man. <laughs> All right. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> Talking about, um, well, last week, the topic was. Uh, why was there a how much was that game again like 200 bucks 200 dollars yeah. a 200 an anime girl rescues anime boy right it yeah. wasn't it wasn't even a game it was like running around a little sandbox not doing anything and then there was a fifteen thousand dollar bundle <laughs> with a collection yes. of these bullshit games and i was like money laundering question mark but pedro yeah. had a hotter tape <laughs> yeah, yeah and, uh, uh, which he'll explain after jordan reads Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So George writes in and says, oh, ho, the accountant, uh, the account worth inflation scam angle is a pretty interesting take. My own is that it's a Munder laundering's effort. Have foreign account release an insanely overpriced quote unquote game and have a foreign contact or cyber crime service. Uh, buy it with questionably watch out sourced for that funds. Cyber crime. Cyber crime. <laughs> cyber crime. You, know, you know, if you're eating those cookies, right, you get the cyber crumbs. That's why you got to never accept cookies. Uh, but buy it with questionably sourced funds and you have yourself a fine wash. I've also heard it might be used to inflate the value of a loot box bundle on third-party key reseller sites. So them's the options, and frankly, it could be a combination of all three. Yeah, d- d- absolutely. I didn't even think about the um, like the key loot box thing that some sites actually do. That yeah, that very much goes in line with yeah, trying to make something look more valuable than it actually is. And the yeah, the money laundering one makes a lot of sense. It is very likely a part of it. You got to imagine like that. That was my first thought. Like even jokingly, when I said that was like money laundering, right? And I'm like, but that's pretty easy to spot and track down though. Right. Like, yeah. As soon as anyone starts actually following the money, mm. but from like, just what I suggested, which was the buddy to show them the money. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) But uh, yeah, no, like what my, I don't fuck you all that guess. was funny <laughs> no I I, 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 I I got it I just didn't want to show, show me the money into the microphone <laughs> the um I'd buy that for a dollar my guess was very much okay so you have a bunch of people uh probably baiting someone into providing you know doing the phishing getting people's steam accounts if you have a very low value steam account if you get one from one such scam um Probably the person who had that Steam account is like, I don't care enough, so they don't bother. So you get to keep that Steam account. And then how are you going to flog it off to try and make money out of it? You ask the developer of uh, that shovelware game. It's like, give me a key for that $200 game that you've released. And now that account that only had five games on it is now worth well over $1,000 because there's another $200 for Shovelware. But who's got enough money and enough know-how to know that they can buy a Steam? Like, this, this is like an immediate fucking flag, though, wasn't it? That, that's the catch that I'm seeing there, man. I'm like, if I'm in this market, I know these fucking um, games are bullshit. And, like, it's happening happening at enough scale to where there's bundles of these. Like, do you, do you, And you can easily you, Google, it's like, buy Steam account. And there yeah, are I'm not, s- not disputing that. <laughs> I, I'm disputing... I'm not even disputing anything. What I'm saying is, like, the... I'm looking at it from like, okay, if I'm in the business, of, like if I'm going to buy a Steam account, a valuable Steam account, and I'm going to spend like that kind of money on, I'm doing a little bit of basic research though, right? 
I'm going to no, check I, out I some mean, of these games. Like, if I'm buying a Steam account, it's like, oh, this I, Steam well, account's I, worth fourteen thousand dollars. I wonder how much of it is pump and dump, though. Like, of just like that's what I'm in, leaning in, in, towards. Infl- like, inflating the value and like selling it between a couple people, and then and then just trying to dump it off. Because, like, the, the thing that pops to my mind is, like, what if we're just, like, overcomplicating this? What if it's just a bunch of grandmas that are like, ah, yes, video games cost $500. My child loves the anime Transmorphers. <laughs> See, I think the grandmas would have realized this is, like, this is not a video game. This is not. Mm-hmm. Because that's what I'm aware. The, the one, that's that's, that's the, what my child plays all day. It's just yes, pornography. Yes, Jordan, as your grandmother sits on her Steam account. <laughs> dude, dude I, I mean, I'm straight up quoting my grandfather in this case about that. So there, there, there was at least one person who thought like this. All, all your grandparents are going to do is buy you another copy of Nickelback. So you better be careful. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it's, it's a problem. It's like, Grandpa, your, 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 your memory's going. You got to stop buying me that same Nickelback CD. I heard it was great. He's just jamming out to it, man. Living his no, best it's, life. And it's, it, it's not even that one. It's like their first CD. It's not even the recent <laughs> shit. <laughs> and they say that a hero can save us. We're talking right. Spider-Man. Uh, hey, Carlos Santana. Like, if somebody does know, like, I, I'm willing. I'm, you know, l- long as you keep, like, lizard people out of it, I'm willing to entertain any of your crazy theories about like what this could possibly be or if you know you're like oh no i can tell you exactly what this is uh, more than likely it's a mixture of there's something funky going on here and someone's making money off of it right <laughs> someone is making pennies that's that's the real unfortunate thing is like for how much these things are marked up you got to imagine the margins are razor razor thin on this no see this is like there's effort though that that that's what is throwing the thing in here because like there's actual games even though they're not really games but like somebody's taking the time to like gussy it up to the point of like it would get past the casual glass and like their work went into putting a 3d model into a sandbox with some stuff around it to let it run around they maybe it, maybe it's the some assets shit. they bought the we've had this before like uh, unit z and the other zombie unity games that were literally just the zombie game asset pack and they flogged it on steam under a different name so it's that paired with okay we need do they put something in some additional that'll... assets because like valve got Real takey downy with those. Yeah, the, well, they have well, to. Well, so, so they can't the thing, just you, release you can the have, one uh, asset. They have to have more. You can assets. have uh, AI assets now, right? That's the other thing. It's, yes. it, 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 it is not that expect, expensive to generate new shit. Now, I mean, Valve is uh, Valve is cracking down on this stuff, but it still depends on user reporting. Well, this has to. to, no, to again, I could be overthinking this. Like, yeah. you put a big fucking like red dot on your game when you charge two hundred bucks for it. Like that that signals something. Even at Valve, somebody's going like, "Fuck this." I mean, it clearly went through Valve's approval process, you know, that automated bullshit that they claim that a human is involved at some point. Uh-huh. Right. And, 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 and we're, 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 give, we're giving Valve a bit of the benefit of the doubt there. They still get a cut of this sale anyways. Right. So yes. do they, do they, they care? Get 30% ultimately? of those $200. Okay. Now, now see, this is, this is like where, where we can just keep going because I don't think anybody's ever actually, they've ever made a sale on it. If I'm coming from the angle of like Pedro's take of like, no, they're just giving away keys. To but, other but accounts it, for these where there's no it money would show exchanging on the view though. Yeah, so they made at least those ten sales from okay, the reviews. Okay, so do you do it like a do? You, is it a ninety nine cent game for the first thirty seconds? And so the st- oh oh shit! Or, the, we, the, 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 that's, dude, that's what I'm thinking. Pump and dump, right? How, how do we go to the uh, Steam price thing? Oh, the is it just Steam DB? Okay, we, Steam DB I think has a history of. This. Hang on. All right, we're we're <laughs> ah, gonna do space. some investigating <laughs> journalism here. Uh, where was uh, this game shown? Uh, yeah, this v- guy. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. V- 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 virtual girl save virtual boy. All right. What did what did I say? Anime girl save anime boy. I was close enough. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> uh, game price Sorry, history. Game price history. All right. Uh, oop. Come Cloud on, Cloudflare. Flare. Damn you, Cloudflare! You suck. <laughs> okay, we got two packages. Uh, this Last one. update fourteen yeah. days ago. Yeah. <laughs> Theme price history. Uh nine sixty in South Asian current, dollars. Wait, is it thirty uh, bucks now? Yeah, current price is thirty bucks now. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I guess I guess it I guess it jackknifes. That, chart. But the What? No, I want money chart. I don't know. 
I don't lowest think recorded price. Price. <laughs> ten bucks, seven <laughs> the, bucks. The U.S. dollars are at the top there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, bucks. We only have lowest recorded, not highest recorded. <laughs> but, yeah. but, uh, but, like, okay. So, so then let let's let's assume whoever is buying them are buying it like when when it is like twenty six dollars, right? Like, right. Like, uh, so what what is the uh, fluctuation though? That, that, that's what what is this other one though? Hmm. Ah, here we go. This is the motherfucker we were looking for. <laughs> this one's one ninety nine. All right. Oh, so they have two different depots. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <sighs> one ninety nine, one fifty three, two oh eight. These are all converted, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, converted price, current price. Is it, is it is it the same company though? Heedy, Heed. I don't know. How do I actually get a damn chart on here, Pedro? That <laughs> I I don't think you can. How dare you? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta crack oh, up some JavaScript. Go. I, I just go to the bottom. Okay, I go lower. Aim lower. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, all. So uh, no, this thing started at one ninety nine, and then it stayed at one ninety nine. Oh, it was forty percent off. At uh, what? 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 One nineteen. So one twenty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> now it's it, even weirder. Off. Now it's even weirder, because like that's not a, that doesn't work with our theory though, where it's like you know. 99 cents. I, I look forward to this being the last episode of Linux Gamecast because after we go off, immediately oh, we, we all get like black bags. And crap, and right? like, yeah, yeah. We, and we get like, like dragged what off did to you a black do? site. The food? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? But then it's like Rick and Morty's like, I can do that <laughs> for money. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I'm very cheap in that respect. I, mean, I could be bought, man. Come on, don't, don't threaten me with a good time. Uh, yeah, if you know, let, it, let us, and uh, that'll be kind of brilliant. I, I, I guess tell, tell us in, 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 in a garage with like the lights pointing at us so that we can't see your right, face. Right, but it's got to have like one of those uh, lamps hanging from the ceiling with like the dome mm-hmm. on it, you know, that's working. Yeah. Re- and maybe a chair, a chair would be dope. Yeah. Somebody smoking a cigarette. <laughs> or have, have, the, have the, the, the crotch cut out of the chair and then you can like come up with a rope and while you're explaining and, like, the, and, to and, us, you can like whack us on the crotch. Like maybe a surfboard. Can you get it like a giant pot leaf in the background too? That'd be pretty dope. And yeah. Whitest kids, you know, Pedro. Um, <laughs> okay. No, I, <laughs> that, 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 that one didn't land. The, the other one didn't. was better. All right. So, uh, hey, before we get out of here, I want to thank everybody making this show possible. If that is you, you are made out of Ascendium, which is like awesome sauce, but it's been uh, reforged into something slightly more awesome. I want to thank Nubbin for the 45 month resub and all of our beautiful party patrons making this possible. Patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Come get a gang of shit as a bonus for helping us out each and every week. Also, come say hi in our Discord. If you are a Twitch sub or a Patreon subscriber, we got all that. We're just hanging out doing this, basically this show, the other six days of the week, talking smack to each other. Among other, our our Discord doesn't really have a topic. It goes places. Mm -hmm. Usually fun, like um, blacksmithing. Like, hey, (laughs) I'm to put on some Linux Gamecast as I start to forge today. I'm still mad. We don't get custom Linux game swords. God damn it! This, this, this I would be this pissed is where if you guys got uh, Linux game swords, uh, and then you couldn't ship me one because I'm on the other side of the world. Yeah, no, you, you get you get the Linux game butter knife. <laughs> you do. You 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 get the you get the trowel for eating. <laughs> you, 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 okay, you, I'll you, take you the Linux the, gaming trowel. That's fine. You, you, you get you get the serrated blade for bagels. Ooh, <laughs> the Linux game bagels. Oh man, uh, yeah, stuff like that. Because I, I popped in, like checked around, and I was like, "What was I right up to?" And I see Jordan talking about custom LGC weaponry. I'm like, "All right, what started this?" Uh, <laughs> scroll, scroll up a little bit. And buy- <laughs> nice little comment. Apparently, Linux game cast is recommended for clarity when you're forging metal. Yeah, we're, our, our voices are very, very clear. Um, that's not my accident. Uh, all right, so <laughs> hey, that's going to do it. Uh, you get live and uncut versions of the show. We got merch. We got Amazon wish list. You can find all over that at uh, LinuxGameCast.com. Got a support tab. We appreciate everything you do for us. Hopefully, livening up your day as well. Okay, there we go. We somehow made it an hour. Look yes. at that. Hey, <laughs> hey, TikTok bitches. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get in touch with me, I am uh, Vin Stone on Twitter. I'm still doing that. It's X, whatever. 
at Vin on Blue Sky. I had a couple of people of Blue Skies open to the public now. I saw some people like looking. Just type in Vin. I'm there. I'm like OG Vin. And of course, we have a federated timeline mass.linuxgamecast.com where I'm just a uh, Vin there too because you know I'm not original. I'm the dirtiest boy on the internet, Jordan Svung. You can launder me by going to uh, at Frodo at mass.linuxgamecast.com, at Frodo at bsky.app, or at the Burning Fool on, on Twitter. I was going to challenge you on the dirty boy thing, but I, I, I did shower today, so I can't. <laughs> if you don't want to see pictures of me showering, by all means, go to uh, an accounted for with the actual number four at mass.liticsgamecast.com. No, they're, they're everyone, you everywhere won't find on the there. internet. They're everywhere on the internet, <laughs> but Pedro's Twitter page. That, that's just how it is. <sighs> Time for some credits. The Sex Panther of Family Values, 60% of the time, it works 100% of the time. Uh, well, it's that time of the week where we gotta thank our advisors, Omegas, our Theron, and our executive producers, our Barbara, Scott Michaud, Atomic Ass Mike G, Drummer, Tomas, Hakeem, Dave, Ishep, Ian, Haplo, and Kerr Ducky, and our little Nikki fans, Empty, Eggy, and Super Desto, Dazzle. Sea Monsters, Renault, Rider X, Trudgy, Veritanuda, Justin, Darkwing, Lester's Roll with it, System T, Danzing Joe, The Crazy Kim, Oki One, and the Death Notes, Nova, Chad, P, Romeo, uh, Renee, I can't All read anymore, Doom 2001, Zeno, Jalo, Piper, Svein. <laughs> and if your name's not on the list or anything, if there's a fat, uh, like, fumble with my fingers, like, let me know, man. This stuff's done manually each and every week. Uh, Carl. Mike, Linux, uh, Nocto, John, Eshop, Gametron, you know what DS Ranger? Oh no! I can't read, Kate Jory. Thank you. You as well, Norse Ranger. We, we just you want to thank Linux in general wonderful. as well. Yes. Thank you, Personified Only Operating you System. We love you. Can prevent Linux <laughs> fires. Dying fire, everyone. We'll see you next week. Toodles. This is like get a doom field, doesn't it? Or quake. Five dudes.